We were in a trailer park. It wasn't the best neighborhood. It had a lot of drug activity, um, a lot of yelling. It was not a peaceful place at all. We knew that we wanted to move. As soon as we were able to get up and go, we did. We wanted something better for the kids to grow up in, and we found the perfect spot. I love the property. I love the peace and quiet. It's not something that we were used to. It's nice to be able to come out on your back porch and just sit and listen to the birds. And the loudest thing that ever comes through is the train. We knew that the house had some repairs. It was just a little more than what we had anticipated. We thought that the water was okay. We were aware that it was on a cistern. And the first time it came out of the tap, we were surprised. You could smell it. It was a uh, very strong, a uh, rotten odor. It was pretty brown, pretty black. It wasn't good enough that we thought that it would be safe to drink, so we just never did. We bought gallons of water um, to, cook a, to cook with, and then bottled water to drink. From a parental standpoint, it doesn't feel good <laughs> to see the water come out of the bathtub and it be the color that it is, and know that you have to bathe your kids in that because it's, it is what it is. But you just try to be graceful about it, you know. Those are things that you wouldn't think that you would have to think about but when you don't have access to clean water, you do. And it's, it's a struggle, it's extremely frustrating. There's uh, approximately 1.5 million people that are living without access to safe drinking water in their home. They were either promised that public water supply lines would be brought out to their rural areas, or they've just been living without water at all. This project would not happen without all of our great partners. The Waterwell Trust, who helps qualify this deserving family. The Chris Long Foundation, who we are honored to be partners with to help Americans get access to water. Waterworks, our distributor partner, and the Shrefford family, who helped drill the well. When you don't have the extra money to spend, uh, it's tough to buy bottled water. It's tough to gather rainwater. It's tough to collect water from nearby sources. Ensuring families like the Illards have access to clean water after having to rely on bottled water and rainwater is exactly why I joined the Hometown H2O team. It's amazing to be able to help such a deserving family. We're here with them on the ground, working hand in hand, cleaning up their yard and giving them access to water. And if somebody's pump goes out and they got problems, you know, we try to help out. We just thought helping these people out is just a good thing to do. I'm very proud to work for uh, Xylem and uh, uh, what they're doing to give back. It's a really nice feeling to know that uh, we're really giving a, a family a, a chance to thrive in this community. Water wells are my my life. I mean, that's, that's the industry I've always been in. But I've also got kids. I've got three children of my own, and the thought of them not having access to good, clean water anytime they go need to brush their teeth, or it, that hits home. It feels like we won the lottery. It means the world. It really is life-changing for us. <laughs> we'll be able to do our laundry, do our dishes faster, uh, clean showers and baths, able to drink it whenever we want to and cook with it. It's, it's a big relief to, to get it. I don't know how, to, how else to expre express it other than I'm just grateful. <laughs> Zion's mission is to sell water, and we are able to do that for this family today. Thank you.